on Craigslist this morning and I found a gorgeous 2001 old Aurora um, you guys know I've had one of these before I think it was also an 01 when I was up in Boston um, and I've had a lot of intrigues which are the, pretty much the same car um, also this is basically it's a Park Avenue or Cadillac DeVille it's pretty much the same thing um, I looked at one a few weeks ago. I didn't record it because I went and looked at it at night. It was pitch black and my girlfriend was with me and with everything going on, I just didn't want to be trying to videotape it as well. Looked at an O2 a few weeks ago, had 150 something thousand miles on it. The body was immaculate on it, a beautiful body. Um, it was from Ohio, so it had some rust underneath it, um, a fair amount. Um, the rear suspension in particular was pretty rusty, but that car needed a lot of work. It needed struts all around it needed it, the roof was like leaking water for whatever reason it was weird there's all water on the carpet and um the one of the fuel lines was leaking and it needed a bunch of work and the lowest i get the guy on it was 500 bucks which did have four new tires and some other good stuff going for it um so i was looking at it from more of a parts perspective because these cars are pretty hard to find and the parts are kind of hard to find because they only put that 3.5 liter short star engine that's what they call it it's a north star with two cylinders chopped off and i could use some of the parts off that car maybe even for this one here this is a 01 aurora it's got about a hundred five thousand miles on it. she said the odometer stopped working at ninety thousand last year she has a picture of the odometer from last year i don't know it, but again, it's, it's a woman selling. I don't think she's trying to pull a fast one, but whatever. So the car, she we, she estimates is about 105,000 miles on it. It's like, a, it's like a nice dark green, which are super hard to find that color. I had, an, I had an intrigue in that color. I love the color. It reminds me of the bullet. And I hate that like throw up pewter that most GM cars were of that era. That's what the other car, the hopeful parts car is. It's that puke brown. Um... Well, not really. It's more of like a, I don't know. It's, it's that ugly, like, brown, silver color, which I don't like. My Park Ave was that color. Uh, so this one's a nice green. Cosmetically looks pretty damn good. Needs a few stupid things like a window regulator. And the one of the mirrors has, like, but has, uh, what the hell you call them? Rubber bands holding it on. So stupid shit, you know? Easy, stupid shit. She says mechanically it's great. Ice cold AC. So she says... But it's right down the fucking street, like five minutes away. And the, and the and she wants to bring it here. I'm like, fuck it, yeah, bring it over. So uh, she'll be here any minute now. And um, I'll try to get some footage, but, you know, we'll see. Again, I don't want to spook this girl with the camera out. But she's only asking 1200 for it. And she says she needs it sold as soon as possible or best offer because she bought a new car. And if I know Miami like I know Miami, I guarantee you she only has one parking space. So... She probably has to sell it right away. Uh, and as usual, I'm looking to buy this as cheap as possible. But I figure I can get around 800 bucks. Hopefully even less than that. But realistically, if the car isn't that bad, she's at our best offer. I'm a cash buyer today. She just put it up for sale. 800 bucks probably. Hopefully less. But $800 for that great of a daily driver, that's what I would use it for. Uh, there's no flip money in these cars at all. No one knows what the hell they are. Let me text this chick back. I want to see this car right now. No deal as of right now. The car needs, as I expected, unfortunately, you heard me say it just before she pulled up, it was probably gonna need a lot more work than was listed. Oops, I left this plank of wood over here. And I was right, it needs uh, a fair bit of work. The good news is it has a new rack and pinion, but there's still definitely some issues in the steering and front suspension, probably the front suspension. Maybe it's the struts, but it doesn't sound like struts, but something's loose in that steering. The steering's tight but you can just, something's off in there. So something still needs to be done in the front. It's got some major oil leaks, just like my last one had, which I don't play around with those on these engines because my last one caught on fire. So um, it's leaking right in the manifold. So it needs valve cover gaskets. Look, one of the tires was ball. The other three were okay, but they were wearing kind of funny. 
but I'm assuming that's from before the rack and pinion was done. There's probably an alignment issue of some sort. Rear brake pads are needed. It's got a pretty decent scrape on the passenger side where it was it sideswiped something. So based on all those things, I offered her 400, um, and she countered at 800. Which, if the car didn't have all those issues, you know, even if it had maybe half those issues, would have been fine with it. But check engine light was on. I don't know what for. She didn't know either. Uh, it was solid. I'm assuming it's something like an O2 sensor or emissions related or whatever. Believe me. Uh, I'm pretty confident this girl's gonna be just like the other guy did. I walked away three days later. He called me back. Okay, come get it for 500. I'm like, well, sorry, I just bought another car. I can't. That's the deal with the um, with that car. We'll see what happens. Maybe I'll get maybe I'll get that one in a few weeks when she decides that when she realizes her price is unrealistic. Um, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll get the other one. I don't know. Maybe I'll get neither and uh, buy something totally different, which I'm gonna go look at right now. Check Craigslist. See what I find. Okay, so as I predicted, I'll tell you guys in a minute, but I bought the Aurora here. You can see it's not in terrible shape, not in perfect shape, but for the price, you can't complain. The paint's in very good shape on it, with the worst area being a little bit of haze on the roof, but not faded through the clear. And this damage over here, which most of this should buff out, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, I'm not crazy about the way this door and fender line up, but it doesn't on both sides. So, you know, I don't recall, maybe that's just the way these cars are, or maybe at some point the front end was redone, but I doubt it because the paint's a dead on match. And usually if you had the fender replaced, you'd see some type of difference over the years of paint wear. So, ugh. the odometer does work on the car when it wants to, um, 103,000 miles on it, it's even lower than I thought. So I'm gonna pull out of here now, this is like a busy ass. That's one of the things I don't like about the car. It, I think it needs either a motor mount or a transmission mount because when you throw it in reverse, it's quick, but it, it's a thump. Kind of like both my Trofeos do. Um, just waiting for these folks here to squeeze by. So, okay, see you later. I mean, the car is far from perfect, but for $500, that's what I paid for it. I'm very happy. There's a placenta of parts on here, if anything. The car ends up being a, a turd, but I don't think it is. I think this car, with a little TLC, will be a great daily driver or uh, a beater, if it, if it has to be, which I hate to do, but I did it with my last one. It was a total piece of shit. And there, there was no point in trying to save it. And um, so I just drove it until it caught on fire and sold it to the next guy. And uh, he did whatever he did with it. But this car, um, oh, like I was gonna tell you, I didn't want the girl to hear me out there um, if she was still outside. But remember earlier on when, when she left, I go, I guarantee I'll be hearing from this chick, you know, soon about buying the car for the 500. Well, sure enough, it was even more soon than I thought because um, I went out with my day and I did some other shit and I got a text maybe an hour and a half ago with, from her saying, will you please do 600? And I'm like, you know, the please ain't gonna work, sweetheart. Well, I didn't say that, but I'm like, no, you know, my, my offer's 500. I can't do any better. The car needs, uh, you know, quite a bit of work and uh, every dollar is an account toward fixing the car. So she ended up giving in to the $500 number I could tell she probably had today off. It was her only day off and uh, wanted the thing gone. And that was that. So, you know, I asked her if these gauges were, it's very typical for these Aurora gauges to act up. And I asked her if the gas gauge was acting up. She said no. And sure enough, it's jumping all over the place. So that was either a lie or she doesn't know what the hell she's talking about. But once again, at $500, uh, my expectations are low. And the car is pretty decent for the money. I mean, when I bought my other one for 300, it was a hell of a lot worse. But I'm driving the car now and it drives very solid. You know, this is about the most driving experience I've gotten out of it. Even the struts feel fine. Um, which I, you know, I went over a couple of good speed bumps in my neighborhood to feel them out, but they feel okay. The AC works really good. Um, it it's really clean. I mean, I think this seat has a little teeny tear in it, but I'm not worried about that. 
it's so minor and my ass is gonna be on it anyway, but it's mostly just stupid shit like this. I gotta fix that and replace this. And uh, you know, minor crap. Figure out what that check engine lights on for. All right, real quick look at it because I gotta run out of here in a few minutes. Obviously, that mirror needs to be done. A um, couple of minor scratches, but overall, it's in pretty damn nice shape. I want to take this stupid ass dealer sticker off the back here. Uh, what else can I say about it? That swipe on the side there, which should buff out. There'll still be a minor dent here, but I mean, you're not really going to notice that. The only reason you see it right now is because the scrape needs rear brake pads. The fronts are new. Um, the interior is in pretty good shape. Back seat's real good. Threw something over the carpet here, but the carpet's not that bad underneath it. It's actually better, so I don't know why she put that on. Um, oops. These are the big heavy GM cars. Got to give the door a good push. That's about the worst damage on the inside right there. Minor spot in the driver's seat. Probably just leave the seat in for now. It's going to be a daily driver unless I end up getting rid of it. Uh, carpets need to be clean in the front. 103,000 miles and I need to change out that sun visor there um, roof is in good shape engine leaks a lot of oil I'll show you guys real quick and I gotta hop in the shower I'm pretty happy with the car I mean I I've learned to be skeptical of every car I buy no matter how good the deal seems because there's always something I gotta clean all this shit off the hood here this car will look nice with a good detailing, that's for sure. You can tell it's been neglected for a while. And this engine's dirty, and you can see that oil leak. Mine did the same thing, my last Aurora. Uh, so it needs some gaskets for sure. Engine runs pretty darn well. It doesn't overheat. You can see it fires right up. Weird thing it did, I pulled in the driveway, it stalled out. Um, RPMs dropped, but I mean it fired right back up. So I don't know what's up with that. For some reason, it just bogged out. These cars, you know, that they're they're a gamble because no one really understands them. You can see it runs real well. I wish I could hold this. These little struts are bad, but. It's only got a hundred thousand miles on it. So let me know what you guys think. Again, I don't think it's a terrible deal of 500 bucks. I just love these cars. I've always loved them and they're, they're hard to find. So, um, you know, when I find them with the 3.5 in this beautiful, like British racing green, oh, the odometer stopped working again, but at least I know what the mileage is. She said it comes on and off. These cars come with killer radios too, and all this beautiful, very like usable climate control. I like this little knob, and it's all automatic, and you get the this. All these sensors go bad in these cars. I've never had one. It doesn't. The coolant's full. The tires are fine, but it tells you all this info. You can see. So. You get this guitar, my phone shut off at random, but hey, check it out. It even came with some uh, vape juice here. Double espresso. Enjoy. How fucking disgusting does that sound? Um, just checking the trunk. I guess that's the hood prop. So one of those. Just like the DeVille. I think this is the dead key. The other one's got a battery, but... That's the scoop, guys. I will be obviously making more videos of this. Thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for the next one.